and welcome to the newsroom. Today's report will be about the Supreme Court. No, not that Supreme Court. The Supreme Court began on February 2nd, 1790. George Washington appointed 11 Supreme Court justices, which is the most out of any other president, but now there are only nine. To be chosen for the Supreme Court, one has to be nominated by the president and the majority of the Senate has to approve. Once they are approved, the justices com have conferences every Wednesday and Friday from late October to early July. They can serve for as long as they want and are only removed by impeachment. Wow, that's so interesting, but what do they do? Well, the Supreme Court is the highest court level in the United States. They get around 5,000 to 6,000 appeals from lower courts, but only Supreme Court sees around 100 cases a year. So they make decisions on the hardest cases. What makes it so hard is that they have to decide whether or not something is constitutional, which is called judicial review, and the justices will only agree upon a case if four or more justices approve and if they think it serves a valid point constitutionally. When they're interested in a case, the justices ask for a writ of seratory. This translates to be more certain and is when the Supreme Court asks the lower courts for a record of the case. What happens during these hearings? Before the case begins, the justices read the briefs that both sides have written. Briefs are long written documents that explain the arguments on each side of a case. Amicus curry briefs are briefs written by outside parties to share their opinions and arguments for their side. Prior to sitting down, the nine Supreme Court justices all shake hands to show unity. Chief Justice Melville W. Fuller began this tradition to show that everyone has a common goal. During the actual hearing, the justices only listen to oral arguments by lawyers, which are usually around 30 minutes long. During the case, they are seated by seniority, and after, when discussing the case, people state their opinion in that same order. What happens after all of this? Once the decision is made, the justices write the court's opinion. It is the Chief Justice's job to write this if he is in the majority. Or if he's in the minority, this is done by the Senior Associate Justice who is in the majority. Other justices may add their similar ideas to make the concurring opinion. But the Chief Justice has many responsibilities besides just that. He serves as the head of the judicial branch, swears in the president, and is the first to walk into a courtroom and cast a vote. He also writes an annual report about the judicial branch. Oh my gosh, who would want to do all this work? Well, in fact, the current members are Chief Justice John G. Roberts, Jr., Antonian Scalia, Anthony Kennedy, Clarence Thomas, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Stephen Breyer, Samuel Alito, Sonia Sotomayor, and Elena Kagan. Other famous justices include Thurgood Marshall, who became the first African-American Supreme Court Justice on October 2, 1967. Sandra Day O'Connor was the first female on the Supreme Court and started in 1981. Thank you so much to our viewers for tuning in and watching the show. See you next week.